Hello and welcome. Uh, we're going to use uh, Revit 2025, which a lot of you have a hard time with how to create a topography and a, a mass in and site. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Uh, if you have your already your project, uh, which is a uh, this is just a project file right here, like this one, or you have a, a, a buildings already made, but there's no site around it. Let's go ahead, go ahead and uh, learn how to develop the site. This is just for the beginner. And uh, Revit 2025 has changed compared to years. It's not as easy as like it used to be, so there's a lot of steps involved. All right, let's get to work. First thing I want to do and go on to your uh, project uh, browser, go to uh, uh, um, site plan. For now, you have the site plan right here. Come back in here, go to your property palette. Remember, you have a browser, uh, browser and a property palette. And if you don't have those, you can go to view right here. And from view, you can go to the user interface right here. And then you can make sure you select your property palette and your uh, browser is uh, selected. So let's go back to where we were, uh, our site plan. And uh, from here, go to your property palette and go down to where you have uh, a view range. So I'm going to come down, slow go down, down right here. You can see uh, right here it says view range. In the view range, click edit. Then you have this. What is this says basically right here where you have your site? Uh, it says your site is about looking up from a 200 feet up, uh, above the ground, looking down at your house. And then uh, um, back down bottom here says the level, uh, which level we have. We have a level uh, below foundation. I'm going to go ahead and change that, make it to a uh, uh, bottom of my footing. And if you have the same elevation, some type of like that, you can go ahead and change it to make it to bottom of your footing. Or you, may, or you can leave it a level uh, below. So bottom of footing and click apply click OK. Now this is the roof of your structure if you're looking from above. Kind of select your roof structure, kind of click on it when it's selected like that. And then right click your mouse. And when this open up, and go ahead and say uh, uh, override. Override graphic view. And then do it by category. Then you have this new window opens up. Down bottom here, click on this right here. It says open the visibility graphic dialog. And you come up to here. Right here, where you have on a roof, click the override on a roof right there. And then here, click it and go find dash 3 over 332. Um, right here. Dash 3 over 32. Click OK. Then come up right here is the transparency. Hit the override and transparency. And let's set the transparency to 50%. There, 51. 51 is good. Click OK. And click Apply. Click OK. I have a couple of skylights right here. Let's kind of go over here. Click the skylight. If you got skylight, if you don't have one, then you're all set. And then right click. And then go a uh, hide in view by element. And it looks like that, not look like that. Do the same thing over here. Click it, right click it, hide in view by element. So it kind of shows in like this. So come back up here on your uh, ribbon. 
you go up to massing and side click that and then you have these options right here click the topo solid you can go from sketch now I'm going to make my building small because I want to put a large site around it you can click rectangular you can click line whatever you want either one is fine I'm going to click a rectangular I'm going to put a big site from here so I have room property make it big and then put a big side around it like that and click enter for good luck and come up here and hit the green check mark okay click do not attach and you basically just let's go look at the uh, we can look at the 3d view and you went to the first floor at elevation zero and you made this site around your house and that's why I said the bigger you make it the better because then you can make your topography uh, look the way you want it or you can go to the uh, uh, let's go to the project browser and select one of the elevation view I'm just gonna hit north elevation and you can see right there there is a, a site right there it goes into the elevation zero right there this is our site that we did all right let's come back to the site plan right here click the site right there so it's highlighted then come up right here at the property palette see right there click edit type and then when you come in here right here we see the structure click the structure and edit that the number in here is a structure right here category click the category you see that little tiny three dots right there click on that and this window should open up right here and keep going down down until you find earth there it is click on earth and click OK so now you have earth here the thickness you can uh, based on your topography you can do more everything best for you but I'm, I'm, at this point I'm going to click 10 feet so it's going to type 10 and enter and that makes it 10 feet so click up OK and just click OK here warning highlight tabs OK fine so now we got that and click apply click OK well this is the your uh, site right here your top uh, topo solid is selected right here come back to the uh, property palette see right here it says level the height offset from the level we're going to change that height offset right there down bottom right there it says a height offset from level to zero zero make that to a I'm going to make it to minus two and then hit the space bar six inches and click enter so now you got minus two feet six inches while this is all selected right here come up here you see right here where it says modify sub element go to the one next which says add point click add point So there's a couple of pick, pick, bunch of points from here on then you can be creative you can do your own stuff so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come out of the garage this is the garage where the vehicle comes out so I'm going to pick two spot right here elevation says minus 2.6 but that's fine I'm going to put one right there and I'm going to put one right here so now I did that I'm going to click right here it's a modify sub element click on that after you click on modify sub element your cursor should be like this so I'm going to come out the point right there and if I click on the point it says minus two six inches no the garage elevation is at zero so when a car comes out I don't want to drop off I want to come 
the vehicle can drive in and out at the same elevation. So I'm going to type this, make it zero, enter. And I'm going to come in here, do the same thing. Click on it, and then click on the number right here, make it to a zero, click it, enter. And this is how we're going to create a topo as we move along to other points. So my say is this driver is going to drop off, okay? And uh, I'm going to go back here, add points. I'm going to put a point right here. And then I'm going to put a point right here. And then I'm going to put a point right there. And then I'm going to put a point right here. Um, put one right here. Put one right here. Right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. You can see the elevation that says minus 1 foot 11. You can change that elevation the way you want it, but I have it set at that. I'll show you how in a minute. I'm just going to go ahead and make sure the uh, site around the foundation, around the house, is lower because uh, um, you want the water drain away from the house. So I'm going to go back, click modify, and if I look at this point, the elevation, click on it. The elevation is, uh, I don't like this. I'm going to change it to uh, uh, make it uh, minus one feet and six inches. So I'm going to say minus one space six inches. Enter. I could have done this better instead of going around changing all these. I should have set it at the beginning. I should have set it, but that's okay. So click on it again and click that and make it minus one space six. And the way the foundation drain, click it minus one space six. Minus one space six. Of course, if you don't do it, these points are for change. So I'm going to click on this one, make it uh, minus just one foot, enter, and make this one minus two feet, enter. The uh, 3D, and you can see right here, your building's going up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down, and you create a, a mass back here. And then right here, create a problem. Water is going to come and go in the basement. So you got to clean this and drop this off more than these. Let's fix this right here. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, make this to uh, minus 3 feet, enter. Make this one minus 4 feet, enter. And you can put a hole in the ground. You can do anything you want. I changed the grade too much. Uh, better way to see this right here. Over here at this point, I made a big change. You can go ahead and set it up the way you like it and based on the elevation you have. All right, have a good luck and have fun.